Serving as a means of shelter from the elements and potential predators, rattlesnakes love their dens. This is especially true during winter brumation. However, rattlesnakes do leave the comforts of their dens in search of food, a nice basking spot, and a quest for a mate. Males often travel a bit further to find a mate. Some rattlesnake species leave their dens for long periods of time. Migratory adventures. They depart in the spring and summer and return to their places of shelter once the weather turns cold. It truly is a different strokes for different folks affair when it comes to rattlesnakes, their dens, and how far they will roam from their place of refuge. With all that we know thus far, let's take a deeper dive, shall we? In this video, we will discuss the purpose of rattlesnake dens, what type of areas make for quality dens, and you guessed it, why a rattlesnake would ever want to leave its den, and how far they will travel. Let's get started. We hope you enjoy the video. Shelter and protection. Those are the two key words when it comes to the purpose of a quality den, a place to hide out for months if needed. Rattlesnakes are not the best when it comes to digging and burrowing. They need something that is more or less ready-made. It's not uncommon for multiple rattlesnakes to share the same den, especially in cold climates. And speaking of the aforementioned ready-made, so what qualifies as a good den? A small cave. That sounds pretty cool just in general. Gopher holes. Other animal burrows that have been abandoned. And rock crevices. Just a natural shelter in a rock formation. Another aspect of a quality den other than a place to hide out from the harsh elements involves the cover aspect. Rattlesnakes can't just give themselves away. They need to be shielded from threats. A den is useless if all eyes can see ya. For as much as rattlesnakes are predators, they are also prey. Just ask the king snake. Although noted earlier, the search for food, the desire to sun themselves, the quest for water, and the pursuit of a mate are the key reasons as to why a rattlesnake would leave its den. While most of these reasons are a bit self-explanatory, let's hit on this whole sun business. I thought you said a den was a place for shelter and a place to get away from the elements. Well, yes and no. Because rattlesnakes are cold-blooded, they lack the ability to regulate their own body temperature. In order to reach the right balance, they need to bask every so often. The goal is to achieve that happy middle ground, so a few hours of sun is significant. Rattlesnakes, not all, but some, typically take a seasonal trip. The Wyoming prairie rattlesnake comes to mind. You can read more about their migration habits over at snakesforpets.com. There you will find a detailed article on the material we're discussing right here in this very video. If you're currently watching us off-site, please give the initial link in the description bar a click. It'll take you to all the goods. In respect to the aforementioned Wyoming, they often leave their dens behind in the spring. Motivated by the need to find more food, these rattlers will head off to areas where the options are a bit more plentiful. When the job is done and the temps cool down, it's back to the dens to brumate through another harsh winter. The western diamondback is another migratory rattlesnake. Using the sun to map its course, the western diamondback loves to roam roughly a mile or two when the weather is a bit warmer. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video portion of this topic. But as noted a bit earlier, if you want to know more about rattlesnake migration, the reason why rattlers leave their dens, how far they go, and the whole enchilada, please visit us over at the aforementioned snakesforpets.com. There you will find an in-depth article. Off-site? Smash that initial link in the description box, would you please? You'll be glad that you did. Any questions? Snake issues? Yeah, make sure to use our search bar. Type in your keywords. If you can think it, there's a good chance we have an article already for you. And until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. All the best to you and yours. We wish you a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later.